Hi again then guys and welcome to another top speed tune setup for Forza 6 and this time we're building a top speed tune for a very very popular JDM car, one of my personal favourites, the FD RX-7. As you can see it is extremely rapid, as far as upgrades you want to go for the all-wheel drive conversion, you want to go for the 787B engine, essentially the quad rotor conversion, that is better than the V8 and so once you've done all that and as always, I would recommend not doing the front and rear wing because that does slow you down. But once you've fitted all that stuff, then you want to, of course, come to your tune setup. I haven't touched the tyres, as you can see. For the gearbox, I would recommend an auto setting of 3.4, then just round off the individual gears to 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.15, 95 and 76. Then as far as the suspension, I've got neutral camber and tow. I personally like the calf the caster even as high as possible you don't have to do that though as far as the anti-roll I've rounded those off to 30 for the springs again just increase them a little to 580 lowered the ride height as low as possible or as much as possible as far as dampers again just rounded them off to 8 and 6 and then as far as finally the diff because as I said you want to convert it to all-wheel drive you don't have to for top speed but obviously it improves your acceleration I would recommend changing the center diff to 70% towards the rear for the torque, which obviously gets you better launch off the line. But that's it for the tune. Now let's take it out to a track to see what it's actually capable of. Now, according to the benchmark, of course, this car is supposedly capable of 267 miles per hour, or a fraction under. So, can it actually do that? Well, sometimes the benchmark is a little bit off, it doesn't actually achieve those kind of speeds, and in the case of this car, that's sort of the case. The road is a little bit too bumpy and not quite long enough, but mostly it's the bumpy factor which prevents you from reaching that speed. Overall though, you can get the car up around 260, but more so going back down the Le Mans straight rather than up it. Overall though, it is a guaranteed 260 mile per hour tune, and the handling, although not exactly amazing, is good enough for straight line performance, which is generally what most people would probably use this tune for. So if you do decide to use this build, which launches like a monster and goes like a supercar overall, obviously I hope you find it fun and it's definitely competitive, especially in a straight line of course, and if you'd like to keep up with other builds like this for other vehicles, not just high performance cars, but cars which are maybe less obvious for getting crazy speeds, then obviously subscribe for those down below. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.